So today in this video we are going to do a rapid fire practice on some question from fill in the blank. So if you like this video give your like, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and stay connected with us. So let's start that video now. So the first question is here. If you thought that yoga was all about bending and twisting your body in odd shapes it's time to rethink. Yoga is more. In very simple words, giving care, your body, mind and breath is yoga. Derive the Sanskrit word huge which means to unite or integrate. Yoga is 5000 year old Indian body of knowledge. Yoga is all about harmonizing the body, the mind and breath through means of various breathing exercise. Yoga poses means asanas and meditation. Now let's check out the options here. Five options are present here and we have to find out the correct option among them. First option, yoga is more. Let's check out the option in number one, much, few, all, many. But the problem is that yoga is itself an uncountable noun. So can we use any form of word which will go with a countable noun? No, because few or many which are used with any countable noun, they don't use with any uncountable noun. So if we eliminate them one by one, much will be left here. So A will be the correct one because of much is used with an uncountable noun like much power, much knowledge like that. So here much is the correct one. Yoga is much more. Number two. If we read the sentence in very simple words, giving care, your body, mind and breath is yoga. So if we look at those options in number 2, we can see at which is used to indicate any specific place or time. So it's completely out of the context for which indicates any position of a person. So it is also out of the context 2 which is used to indicate any specific portion, any specific place. Next on which is used to indicate the position of any specific material. So if we look at those options at, for and on, they are completely out of the context because they don't go with this sentence because they don't indicate any specific portion to a person. Just two is left here. So two is the correct one. See, giving care to your body, mind and breath is yoga. Next number three. The sentences here derive the Sanskrit word huge which means to unite or integrate. So if we read the sentence it means it indicates the origin from where. If we take the meaning of origin then of by out they are completely out of the context they don't go with them so we should eliminate and from is left here a is the correct one derived from the Sanskrit word huge it means that we are talking about the origin of yoga word so that is the correct answer from next number four if we see the sentence in number four yoga is 5000 year old indian body of knowledge it means that it indicates an unspecific time period so which option is the correct one here one it's completely out of the context so you should remove it and we can use it but still an is used before vowel the which is used before any specific object and a which is the correct one because we can use it to indicate any unspecific time schedule so the correct one is yoga is a 5000 year old indian body of knowledge next is number five if we read the sentence here yoga is all about harmonizing the body the mind and breath through means of various breathing exercise, yoga poses, asanas and meditation. But if we look at the option here in number 5 on add a cross which is used in different contexts. So they are completely out of the context. They don't indicate any kind of accompaniment. Rather they are completely out of the part of this topic. So they should be eliminated here. And with which indicates any kind of accompaniment, it should be the correct option. So D is left, so with is the correct one in this context. Yoga is all about harmonizing the body with the mind and breath through means of various breathing exercise, yoga poses and meditation. So D is the correct option here. Next question that is, 
The camel and the fox were very good friends and very good thieves. One day, the two friends crossed the river so that they could travel to a farm to steal food. The small fox swam, so the camel said to his friend, "Climb onto my back, and I will swim across the." So now let's check out the option. In number one, if we read the sentence, one day the two friends to cross the river so that they could travel. So if we see the tense, it is written in the past tense. So it should be the past one. But in this option, one option is past. That is C. Another option should be eliminated. So C is the correct one. Two friends decided to cross the river so that they could travel. Two R in this second number. If we talk about farm to steal food, it should be very close to them. Then which option is here? Nearby, which is an adjective. It means very close to them. Nearby farm to steal food. So A is the correct option, and other option should be eliminated. Number three. The small fox swim. So the camel said to his friend. So which one will be here? The small fox. couldn't swim because already we can see it's written in the past so could should be the past one which is the past form of can so couldn't is the correct answer here d is the correct answer here couldn't swim so other option should be eliminated automatically with the help of elimination process next that is number 4 um so the camel said to his friend climb climb on to my back so where climb up it's one kind of phrasal verb we all know climb up so up is the correct option c next on to my back and i will swim across the across the where across the here let's check it out the option c ocean lake and river so it should be river because in this passage it's already mentioned here to cross the river so here d is the correct one so the answer is here in this option the answer river climb up onto my back i will swim across the river so d is the correct one here river so the next question is here changes in science and technology led to modernization of technology as well as upgradation of knowledge in order to upgrade or modernize technology management must employees to accept new technology training of staff becomes necessary to update their knowledge and to their skills this is possible only effective communication between the management and the employees now let's check out the options here the first option number 1 dash changes in science and technology lead to modernization of technology as well as upgradation of knowledge so if we see here the option no which is completely out of the context no, not even slow ultimate it doesn't go with the sentence so which one rapid changes the gradual changes the first changes here so it should be the correct one if we eliminate a b c then d is left so rapid is the correct answer here rapid changes in science and technology lead to modernization of technology as well as upgradation of knowledge next number 2 that is in order to upgrade or modernize technology management must employ to accept new technologies so if we check number 2 here the option is dissuade discourage persuade deactive so which one is the correct option here so in the first option it has used dissuade which means uh, not to persuade someone discourage no it's completely out of the context just like dissuade persuade and deactivate So if we talk about deactivate it will never go with this portion so three options should be eliminated so one option is left here that is c persuade so here persuade is the correct one in order to upgrade or modernize technology management must persuade employees to accept new technology third 
ट्रेनिंग ऑफ स्टाफ बिकम्स नेसेसरी टू अपडेट देयर नॉलेज एंड टू सो इफ वी सी द ऑप्शन हेयर इन नंबर थ्री इफ वी सी दैट इज इंटरमीडियंट इेग्युलर रेग्युलर एंड इम्प्रॉपर सो हेयर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस ऑप्शन डी or b or intermittent they will never go they are completely out of the context and meaning so they will be completely eliminated by the person so here one option is left that is regular because other options are completely eliminated so c is the correct one regular training of staff becomes necessary to update their knowledge and next number 4 that is well two their skills if we check the options the first option is hamper which will never go with this option enhance imitate and decrease so if i eliminate a c d because they are completely out of the context they will never make any sense and they have different kind of meaning with this context so b option is left here enhance and it is the correct option here to enhance their skills so now it creates some meaning here to upgrade their knowledge so b is the correct option here enhance next that is number 5 this is possible only effective communication between the management and the employees so if we check the option c number 5 then by and with so i don't think so by and with will go with this context because here we are not talking about any action or any accompaniment rather it's talking about a specific one that is effective communication so they should be eliminated now two options are left here true and throughout true means within a specific area and throughout means in every part or area but it's talking about specific area that is effective communication so here c should be eliminated throughout and b is the correct one here true because it slipped so the answer is here this is possible only through effective communication means within the specific area between the management and the employees so here b which is true is the correct option so the next and last question here An old man lived in the village. He was one of the unfortunate people in the world. The whole village was tired him. He was always gloomy. He complained and was always in a bad mood. The he lived the more while he was becoming and the more were his words. Now let's check out the options. Number 1. If we read this sentence, he was one of the unfortunate people in the world now let's check out the options here one by one main which is more effective to indicate any number in a specific topic of a sentence so it will never go with this option because it's talking about someone characteristics nature and if we take here maximum and utmost which will never go because maximum is used with price and utmost is used to indicate someone's feeling so they should be eliminated so one option is left here that is most and c is the correct option here he was one of the most unfortunate people in the world next number 2 if we read this sentence also the whole village was tired him the whole village was tired So if you read this sentence again you can see this sentence is written quite in a passive form was tired by whom by that person so in this option by is mentioned in the c number so other option will be eliminated easily so here c is the correct one by the whole village was tired by him next number 3 He was always gloomy. He complained, and was always in a bad mood. So, if we check the option here, mostly, commonly, cyclically, and constantly. So, if we try to choose any of them, 
we can see that none of them will go with this option because they have very different short of meaning so they won't be meaningful here so if we eliminate this three option commonly cyclically and constantly one option is left only that is mostly a so a is the correct answer here he mostly complained and was always in a bad mood next number four the he lived the more while he was becoming the he lived so in number four if we see long lengthy longer longest nothing will go because it has a quite rhythmic part in this sentence the long he lived the more while he was becoming so long is the correct answer the long he lived the more while he was becoming so a is the correct option here next and last number five the more were his words the more were his words now in this option fatal mortal poisonous toxic apart from toxic if we take the first three option fatal mortal and poisonous they will never go because they have different meaning with different kind of plot like for example if i say fatal which goes with any horrific situation model which goes with human being and poisonous which goes with any object which is not good to our health so apart from those three words toxics which is completely meaningful in this option so three options will be eliminated and d is the correct one here and that is the more toxic were his words the more toxic so in this way with the help of elimination method easily you can solve any question from fill in the blank still if you feel it's not possible you can follow my previous two videos in my channel and uh, still you have any confusion you can let me know in the comment box below but that's all for today but before gonna end up this video i want to say if you like this video give your like subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and share this video with other people so that's all for today tata see you again bye